Uh, one of my past videos, I've gotten a lot of requests for this banana color, which is essentially a really bright yellow with black in it. You know, a very just, you know, a common color that could be made just simply. But when you sit here and search a banana colored jig, really the only person I see that actually makes one, like a big jig company, is Bobby Garland. And theirs is essentially a fluorescent yellow on top with a clear black, a clear bottom with black flake in it. And I could replicate that, no no issues, but at the same time, I feel that's an unnecessary step when you could just shoot one solid color and still have the same aspect of it. I mean, unless you're fishing like super gen clear water, which I wouldn't want to use a fluorescent yellow in to begin with, unless you have like, I don't know, a bunch of small uh, perch, maybe yellow perch or something that you're trying to imitate. But in my mind, you know, looking this up, we've got a Zoom trick worm called Banana Seed. And essentially, I believe that's kind of what I want to make. So, in order to make this work, I believe I want a base of a yellow, just a fluorescent yellow, maybe add a little chartreuse to it. I mean... Y'all know these videos, I'm not going to show you the process to get the color. But we're got, I want y'all to know the thoughts in my head as I make this color. Because this color, essentially, you're going to want to use this in, I wouldn't say stained. But my rule of thumb when I, when I choose a color is when I first get to the boat ramp, I like to look in the water. Especially if I get there a little bit later and the sun's up. You know, have your polarized glasses on, and if I can't see down 10 feet, then I have no business using a clear water bait. And essentially, right now, especially in the fall time, as the video that I just released, you know, we talked about being different. And that's all it can be sometimes, is just having your jig be different. And... A bright yellow jig with some black in it is going to be different, you know. And you know, the crappy man himself has been wanting to use this jig. He watches somebody else on TV or something that's been using a banana color jig. So we're going to dive in. We're going to create this color. And the cool part is, as soon as this video is out, they will be readily available for you to purchase. So let's start mixing. Let's get some hot plastic going and let's make a banana colored jig. Plastic making, I don't know if any of y'all has ever dribbled into it, but as you can see, this plastic is, hang on, I'll get this a moment around. You see that when I first checked it, it was 360, but it went all the way down to 310. Normally the telltale sign is this white on the top. Now the plastic I use is no is gonna be gin clear, so that still needs probably another 30 seconds. And the reason I say this is because sometimes when you get a bait that's got a lot of air in it, that's normally why. Hey that most people don't know, when Daddy started, you know, making jigs, everything self-taught. There were there wasn't, you know, a big influx of YouTube that you could just go on and type you know how to make a crappy jig on youtube which you can do now so everything that i show we pretty much learned ourselves so now y'all see how much clearer that is that's probably about 380 let's see oh god so that probably hang on let me mix it up might have went over just a i like to heat mine way up there though like a good 380 to 400 and what I'm gonna do is essentially I'm just gonna let that cool until about 360 and that's when I'm gonna add you know your colors and everything because now as it's cooling down look look how clear this is like that is just super super clear like you can't get no better no clearer 
than that. And I'm gonna let that cool down to about 360 and then I'm gonna add the color. And now this is the first initial heat up. Now once you've added your colors and everything, you can reheat it. You just need to get to, you know, a melting point, which is like 330, 340. But I still shoot for that 360 and then let it gradually cool down. So now let's turn it yellow. You can really tell now how clear it is as it's cooling down. So it's like this to this. So now we have a base of a bright dark yellow. So the hard part is done. We've heated up super clear plastic. We have turned it into a darker fluorescent yellow. Now we just add some black and that should give that banana consistency that people have been asking for. So let's add some black, see what we're working with, shoot a couple baits, see if we need to change anything, write the recipe down because you know I'd be forgetting. And then we're just gonna shoot a bunch of them and let y'all check them out. So we've got the black added and essentially what that black actually did as you as I as you mix it up check this out check this out as you're mixing it's kind of got a little bit of, of chartreuse going for it around the black flakes so that's kind of that's a really cool like contrast of it so we're going to shoot some of these and see if that that comes out in the bait and what i mean by that you've got a yellow tint Okay, the whole thing is yellow, but where the specks are, it's just like a little bit of chartreuse. And that could be killer if you're trying to imitate a little small baby shad. Because, I mean, they got, you know, all kind of colors going for them. So, let's shoot some of these, see what they look like. We've made a couple shots of these, and I'm honestly impressed. I thought this color would be more like Toad, which... I said in the comments to uh, another fellow YouTuber, uh, Jason T on YouTube, and he was correct. It's nothing like Toad, but it's very similar. <laughs> but this is the banana color. Essentially a very bright but dark uh, yellow. I shot this in the snipe beaver because I honestly believe it's going to be a really good forward facing sonar bait or sonar color because you're able to drop this in whatever conditions you're in and also of course the infamous little minnow and that's what these are going to be on the website you can you can get them in the little minnow or in the snipe beaver um, if it if they do good I will probably do the other types of jigs but you know most people just buy the little minnow because the little minnow is either going to work or you just go find more fish <laughs> and just like with live scoping i mean if you drop this two inch paddle tail not paddle tail a beaver style bait down in front of a fish more likely you're going to get bit so but yeah this is the banana color very simple easy to to make uh I'm glad I got the suggestion to try it out because I'm eager to get out on the water with this just like I know a lot of you guys are out there. So place your orders, give me time. You know, it's a one man operation. I, I try to get out at least five orders a day and sometimes I hit that mark and sometimes I don't. You know, normally they come in within two weeks, so. Sometimes later, you know, I get behind, but I'm trying to make that process faster, but in order to make that process faster, I got to make a lot more jigs to make a lot more money. But until then, we're going to grind it out. I'm going to get you guys these jigs that last forever, and we're going to keep teaching you how to catch crappy. So subscribe if you haven't. Hit that thumbs up button for me, and I'm going to catch you all on the next one.